A topic that's come up recently as a, as a question is concerning paintings to do with the life story of Jade Tsongkhapa. Now, he lived in the 14th century and into the early 15th century, founder of the Geluk tradition of Tibetan Buddhism. And uh, in terms of, of the life story, we have different ways that his life story can be depicted physically. We can have the entire life story in a single composition, or we can have the life story spread over a set of 15 compositions. Now, the single compositions are generally um, easy to figure out. They're, they're, they're either moving in a, in a clockwise fashion or counterclockwise fashion, or bottom to top or top to bottom. There, there's uh, different systems uh, that are more um, traditional than others, but sometimes the artist will choose their own uh, system of how to depict the chronology, the sequence of the life story. But for the painting sets, we have two main um, study topics uh, because we have different ways that the life story is depicted depending on different teachers um, dividing up the life story into certain events. And uh, we have one system by the teacher of the circa, um, circa 1700, Jamyung Shepa. Jamyung Shepa came up with a, a system of roughly, I think it's 172, something like that, um, certain events, special events in Tsongkhapa's life. And then these are arranged and depicted over a set of 15 compositions. Now, this compositional style of laying out the important events, this is the most common that you will find in monasteries, temples, uh, private collections, and museums around the world. Now, most of these sets are broken up. There's only a few places in, in, in China and in, um, and in uh, Gelugpa monasteries outside of China where you're going to find these complete sets, uh, plus um, uh, Tibet House New Delhi, um, Zana Bazaar Museum in Mongolia. Um, there's a few places. Now, that is the most commonly produced set, is the, the, the Jemyu Shepa composition. We call it Jemyu Shepa because it's based on his text. Uh, whether or not he had any involvement with laying it out sequentially on the canvas, then, then I don't know. I've not read his biography to... to uh, learn that information if it in fact it is there. But what happened with Jamyung Shepa's uh, composition and the first or second artists that, that uh, uh, depicted it, they also made it into a set of uh, 15 block print images and these block print images were then reproduced and, uh, and sent all over Tibet and China and many, many, many copies were made from these. So that's why the Jamyung Shepa is so popular. But what I want to just talk about here is that there are other systems. And the, the other main system, uh, um, just in terms of how you depict uh, uh, the, the figure of Tsongkhapa in these paintings, is usually for the Jamyung Shepa set, the, the, there is a Tsongkhapa represented at the center of each composition. Now we have an, an alternate system where we have an asymmetrical composition where, it's where uh, Tsongkhapa is placed to the right or left uh, of the center. Um, but then we have even again, we have other sets of paintings that have been identified. We have them from East Tibet, Chamdo region. We have them from uh, Central Tibet in a large format style. We have red ground and then we have textile. And, and we have these other sets that are not based on the Jamyung Shepa uh, textual system, and they're not based on the block prints of uh, likely to be um, uh, Nartong, very possibly to be Nartong. I would have to check on that, whether it's Nartong Monastery. Jamyung Shepa himself was an uh, Eastern Tibetan uh, uh, teacher rather than um, Tsang province. So. Uh, the important thing here is to understand that there's different ways that, that the sets of Tsongkhapa paintings can be arranged based on different Tibetan texts, sequencing the important life stories, plus there, there's 
there's other systems of uh, artistically depicting it. There's other teachers that have different systems of sequentially arranging the important events. So this is really the key information to approaching uh, Tsongkhapa life story paintings, and I'll leave it with you uh, on that note. And uh, you can uh, press the like button, you can subscribe, and more importantly, you can join Har on Patreon, or you can make a donation right on the homepage of Himalayan Art Resources.